Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of D Ray's Garage. This is A Ray standing in this week as I'm the more enthusiastic Tesla owner in the household. But D Ray is kind enough to oblige my obsession with smart tech. The long-awaited center mode update has finally made its way to most Model X's by now, so we wanted to give you a quick overview of what to expect. First, you want to make sure that your dash cam USB is formatted and installed. Now, if you need help with that process, we have another video tutorial, so make sure you check that out. Sentry mode records from the front and two front side cameras. It must be activated each and every time you park and it can be done through the safety and security menu or through the Tesla app. It's super easy to forget, but Elon has indicated that a future update will make it easier, perhaps through a screen pr prompt when you place the car in park. It's also important to note that Sentry Mode will not activate if you have less than 20% battery. It will also interrupt a recording if activated and the battery level drops below 20%, possibly cutting your footage short. Enabling sentry mode puts it into standby status. So when a minor threat is detected, such as touching your car, it activates alert status and begins recording while also displaying a warning on the screen. If a serious threat is detected, such as a broken window, alarm state will send a notification to the owner and play music at max volume. We didn't test this feature. It will also automatically save the previous 10 minutes of video footage onto the dash cam USB. This does differ from the dash cam feature in that you don't have to, to remember or be there to actually push the dash cam to store the video onto the USB. It's going to do this automatically. Now there's been some concern among Tesla owners about possible thieves stealing the USB, making the footage unavailable. Uh, but Tesla has said that they are temporarily backing up footage to their network. So in order to make this happen, you do need to make sure that you have allowed data sharing and make sure that you enable it through the safety and security menu. Hopefully you won't need that, but that is a backup. So if you ever have to use your footage, it is important to note that the timestamp on the files is stored as Greenwich Mean Time. This, applies to both sentry mode and the dash cam. And this update also adds the two side cameras to dash cam recording, giving you different angles if needed. So there you have it folks, sentry mode in its infancy. I'm sure it will be tweaked over time and only get better, but if you are anything like me, you are super excited to have an extra level of deterrent to protect our investments. And as D-Ray always says, be memorable, be well, and catch you next time.